like uh, every year we say that this could be the deepest uh, that the DBs are. And, and say it again this year. So you feel like I know obviously you lost some key guys, but mm -hmm. a lot of depth, a lot of quality depth there, and some impact newcomers. Yeah, definitely. Um, we got some young guys that we're trying to, you know, bring along. Um, feel like a kid at Christmas time, you know, getting to open my packages and uh, play play with guys and get them developed. So, you know, we got some guys in and trying to get them up to par. Jalen seems like he's a, where is it? Darnay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jalen on the brain. Darnay um, coming in and, and kind of taking over that spot. Uh, as a freshman, how impressive is that? What have you seen out of him? Well, yeah, he's coming in and he's competing his butt off. I mean, you know, uh, you still got guys like Fisher, Metters, uh, Colin Samuel, uh, Keon Riley is starting to emerge. All those guys, you know, keep the competition really going out there at corner. And then, like you mentioned, Jalen Shaw, and then you got Mo Austin. All those guys are starting to develop real fast. You're just getting a lot of reps and just getting used to the speed, the strength, and the tempo of college football for those guys. So I'm very happy with, with Darnay's being uh, obviously a big advantage coming out um, in, in winter and being here for spring ball and stuff like that. So you can tell how big that is graduating from high school early and getting out here, getting in a strength and conditioning program, being around the terminology and the scheme. Those things have helped him where you can see the difference between the guys in his class. And, you know, they, they, they'll be there soon. They'll be there soon. You talked like a lot about uh, cross-training defensive backs mm -hmm. to play nickel and outside. Mm -hmm. safety mm -hmm. even. Was For Darnay, was slot corner for him in spring, and then it was your plan to play him outside in fall? Or was it, is, it, is there, like, a plan to that of when you're going to let them learn certain positions? Oh, yeah. Well, it's, it's kind of a blueprint. I kind of try to, you know, model that where as far as, you know, we coach defensive backs, mm -hmm. you know, so those guys can prepare – be prepared for whatever may come because I want to put the best five, six, four DBs on the field at any given time. So in order for that to happen, everybody has to be able to learn how to play every position. So for him, obviously nickel is a harder position because that's half safety, half linebacker, half corner. So once you get those kind of, uh, well, let's say, those kind of techniques down and those kind of responsibilities down, when you go out there and specialize at one position, it becomes a lot easier because you know where everybody else is supposed to be. So. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the blueprint of what we go by, and I do that with all the guys. Any of the veterans kind of emerged like as the leader of this group, especially like uh, in meetings and things like that? Oh, yeah, well, definitely. Uh, those guys, they're, they're the old heads, you know, with Jaleel Wadud and Darius Pickett. Those guys kind of run the meetings, and, you know, I can sit back and I can tell them they can, they can install a couple of coverages to the youngsters and things and such like that, and then I can go come behind it and clean up some of the – the airiness that they may have. So it, it's fun to see, you know, to watch those guys grow because of the same thing we've, um, since we've got here, we've kind of kept the same schematics in the back end. So we haven't changed much, even though it was a 3-4 before or 4-3 now, we kind of do what we do in the back end. How do you decide when to put a little bit more on a guy's plate as he's coming in? Like Darnay, you don't want to mm -hmm. just throw everything on at the same time. Mm -hmm. How do you kind of uh, make sure you well, <laughs> push him through and Well, part of that pace. blueprint is I do. I throw everything at him. <laughs> see what sticks you know that type of thing and then we'll go back and and clean it up from there so you know you you can always tell when it gets too much on a guy when they start to get frustrated and making mistakes on simple things that that they should know and things like that but a lot of the stuff comes in recruiting just character of kids and finding out who they are and if they can fit the program so a lot of the guys are able to handle it once they get in How have you thought about mossy's transition oh great uh mossy he brings a sense of toughness to, to our back end, uh, he's, a, he's a carefree type, but sometimes I call him a street baller. Like you can't street ball out here, you know, that type of thing, but it's, it's, it's good to have that in the back end sometimes. You know, guys is not f scared to pull the trigger and just go try to jump it and make a play. You don't want to take that stinger out of those guys, so you kind of want them, to, want them to freelance a little bit, but freelance within the scheme, as I say. For the guys who came in uh, just at the start of fall quarter, for those four freshmen, mm -hmm. Or were you surprised by anything that uh, they had, or were you kind of uh, you, did you get exactly what you were expecting out of those guys? Uh, I wouldn't say surprised. I was, I'm happy with them being able to take tough love, or tough coaching. You know, that's always a question when you know, saying you you have that recruiting hat on, and then once you cross those lines, and then you you turn into coach. You know, you can see who can who will step up and who won't. But you know, obviously, you know we have a brewing filter which we go through in recruiting, and a lot of those guys feel all the characteristics in those filters. So therefore, when they get here, they are able to take the tough coach. 
how do you think uh, guys like Will Locke and Octavia Spencer progress uh, this in this camp? Oh, I'm, I'm expecting really big things out of both of those guys this year. Um, Will Locke, it is, uh, he's starting to emerge. Um, and uh, obviously Octavia Spencer, both of those guys can play it all. O Octavia plays a little corner nickel and safety, while uh, Will Lockett plays both safety positions and nickel and dime. So those guys are, you know, yeah, they're going to be big time on uh, special teams, and I'm looking for big plays on them on defense too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. All right.